are, we've left the farm for a little bit of excitement here in Southeast Kansas. Andy, <laughs> meet my friend Andy. This is Andy Smith. What's going on here today, Andy? We're gonna take uh, tractors and we're gonna go cruising to Brutus. What in the world is Brutus? Big Brutus, it's a electric shovel, coal shovel from what, 50s? I don't know when they used it. But. Cool. And that's where you're having lunch today, but yeah. how are you gonna get there? We're gonna take tractors and we're gonna go about 24 miles. Tractors, you're driving tractors 24 yep. miles. 24 miles. Do these tractors go very fast? Uh, we're gonna run about 10 miles an hour. Oh, how cool. Can anybody do it? Uh, anybody. Hey, wouldn't that be fun to ride a tractor for 24 whole miles? Cool. Hey, you're, this thing is being hosted by a club. What club is it? The SEK Old Time Gas Engine and Tractor Club uh, is putting this on. And uh, Martin Farms was nice enough to let us use their parking lot, so we'd oh, have to cross 400 Highway. That's cool. And I hear you're the president of this auspicious club. That's because no one else wants the job. Oh, no. <laughs> Andy does a great job. Thank you, Andy. Have yep. a great time today. We will. This is my friend Luther Smith. He is Andy's dad. And Luther, tell us about your tractor here. Well, it's a 400 farm all, about a 1955 model. 1955. Yep. Oh, I wasn't even born yet when that I tractor was, was, was made. You were born? Yep, but I was not old. <laughs> Did you get your tractor new? No, no, I bought it used years ago. Have you had to do anything to it? Oh, to yeah. Keep it going through oh, the yeah. Years? Every year. I hear you're quite the mechanic. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, I know you are. Got a shade tree. Hey, you're a shade tree mechanic. Yep. That's yep. great. You need to be. You yep. need to be. Oh, yeah. You're going to do this. Luther, why are you doing this today? Because it's fun. Because it's fun. Yeah. I think it is, too. I yep. always get excited for the tractor crew. That is good. It is good. Well, I hope you have a great day. We're going to. All right. We're we'll see to. you at lunch. Thank you. Here comes another participant. How you like that umbrella? Isn't that nice? Driving that John Deere. He's ready to go. Hey, this is Clark Egbert, and he's going to tell us about his tractor. I notice it's green. What does that mean, Clark? It's John Deere. John Deere has green tractors. 1949A. Very good. Do you use it to farm with right now? I ended up with the auger this morning, yesterday. So, that's like, so it runs your auger? auger and it is amazing to me how, even yeah. though a tractor is old, you can still use it. <laughs> yeah. And why are you doing the tractor cruise today? Oh, I go with my dad. He's, he's uh, driving his tractor in box. Oh, in, 60, in the 60s. So. Is this it right next to you? Yes. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> it's 2510 John Deere. 25 what? 10. 2510 John Deere. It's a 67 model. Very good. Oh my goodness. He's the one with the fancy little umbrella. Mm -hmm. See, I notice things like that, Clark. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks like a nice day for it. Yeah, it is. Great. The roads aren't dusty today either. So. Yeah. That's great. Well, I hope you have a great time on your tractor cruise. Okay. Thank you, Clark. Yep. Well, tell us about your tractor, uh, Mr. Winger. Okay, well, it's a 1948 Ford 8N, and I've owned it four years now, and I'm getting ready to fix it up a little more because it kind of sticks out out here. Oh, All I these think nice it's tractors. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, thanks. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Did you get it new? No, uh -uh, no, it's, uh, no. Uh, was it in your family? No, uh, no, nothing like that. What made just, you want to uh, buy this tractor? Um, I just kind of like some of the features that it had, and uh, I don't know, it's comfortable. It's a comfortable tractor. You know why I love your tractor? Uh, why? Because my grandpa had a tractor very similar to this. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Did they used to be blue? Yeah, there were some blue ones also, a little, a little after this I'm kind of thinking this maybe one. his was blue. Uh -huh. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, could have been. Yeah. But that's that's yeah, what I see kind of when I see you on my tractor. Yeah. I see uh -huh. my grandpa's tractor, oh, yeah. and yeah, it brings great. back precious memories. Uh -huh. Do you good. still use this tractor today? Yeah, yeah I use it to mow pasture and move stuff around. We'll do that. It yeah. amazes me 
how you can still use these old tractors yeah. years and years later. After 70 years, yeah. No they kidding. are keepers for sure. Uh, yeah, really built to last. A testament to the farmers that have used them yep. through the years. Yep, absolutely. Great people, yep. aren't they, these uh -huh. farmers? Yeah, sure are. All right. Well, thanks. You yep. have fun today. Okay, I will. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing up there on that big yellow tractor? I'm just driving. Are you driving that tractor? Yes. Oh. Is that your tractor? Well, I'm driving it. You're driving it, but it's not yours yet? Yeah. Oh, it's a pretty tractor. Don't you like it? Yeah. What's your name? Colby. Colby, you look good up there on that tractor. You going to drive it in the in the cruise today? Uh, in the no. parade? No. Do you know the guy that's going to drive it? No. No? Well, we'll see if we can find him. Is Mr. Michael you're the, the guy that owns it? Come here, Mr. John. Is this your tractor? Yeah, it is. Would you tell us about your tractor? My dad bought it new in 1965. Oh, wow. And, and we farmed with it all the time. Oh. And, uh, then about three years ago, uh, we started to restore it and uh, got it completed this year. That's so this tractor is your history. Right, it's been in the family since 1965. That is so precious. Yeah. Do you use it today no. for farming? No. You do it, things like this, parades right. and That's such? Yes, yeah. And brings it, back the it's sweet retired. memories. It's retired, it has an easy life. Oh. <laughs> what is your name, by the way? We didn't introduce you. I'm John Michael. John Michael, John's my neighbor, my great neighbor. <laughs> He's a great farmer, too. Well, thank you. Are you going to let this fella drive your tractor? Well, if he wants to, yeah. He says he'd like to, right, Colby? Yeah. All right. <laughs> have to get his mother's permission. There you go. <laughs> I think I read in the rules you're not supposed to have passengers. I, I think so. Katie. We better not, Colby. We better wait for another time, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. John. Have How are you, Ryan? Oh, yeah. okay. Good, Ruth. How are you? Good. Here's another neighbor of mine. This is Ryan Ashmore. Is this your tractor, Ryan? Yep, this is mine. Oh, that's a beautiful. Like he reminds me of a tractor I know. It's an M, an international M named Emmy. Was the H built before the M or after? Too wide for you know. They were actually there was an H and an M both built at the same time. Oh, I had They were yeah, just different sizes. The M was a little bit bigger. Mike and then they also had some smaller ones too. Than smaller than eight, yeah, or smaller than. I left home. They were forecasting. This is a Super H. What's the difference between an H and a Super H? Yesterday. Yesterday. To my knowledge, it's the last two years of production so that they they built the you know, nothing but supers, and the supers have got <laughs> just a little bit. They were supposed to have just a few tweaks in them, just to make them just a little bit, maybe a little bit more power. Uh, this, they made some improvements on them over the height of the regular H, you know, versus the Super H. And uh, this particular one has actually the hydraulic system. Uh, this is actually a late 53, and my dad's is a 53, but they changed something. If you look how much they made a lot of differences there just in the middle of the year in 1953. Wow. Uh, in 54, to my knowledge, was the last year they built the Super how come you didn't bring your boys? <laughs> well, they were, I don't know. My, I told my wife, I said she needed to come find us sometime today. So oh, yes, maybe she'll get, meet you at Big Brutus. That's possible. Yeah. 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 Trying to get uh, them riled around this early in the morning sometime. She's got her hands full, doesn't she? Does. she? Yeah, oh, well, she have does. fun today, Ryan. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's a fun time, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's such a fun day. You think somebody's bringing a cooler along? Fun day. Looks like all these guys are just enjoying visiting together. They've got a hobby in common, and that hobby is old antique tractors. And what is your name? I'm Terry Hale. Very nice to meet you. Which one is your tractor? Oh, I don't know. Five, six. That is a beautiful tractor. Tell us about it. Well, my dad bought it new in 1960 when he started farming it. He bought 400 acres and he bought that tractor. Oh. Uh, when 
he passed away, I bought it at his auction. And I, I had it for several years, and, and I finally restored it. Uh -huh. it all the way down to the frame. You actually did the work yourself? Yeah. Oh, that is priceless, yeah. priceless. And, uh, anyway, I found out during the process of the restoration that it was actually a 59 model. It was, it was born in April of 59, and I was born in September of 59. Cool. Oh, wow. Me and it have quite a, quite a connection. That's wonderful. Do you still use it today for farming? No, no. I'm not a farmer. Not a farmer? I'm a machinist. Oh, very nice. And so what are you doing here today? Just, I love tractor drives. And I saw this on Facebook. Oh. Uh, I've been to two or three. We, I'm from Carthage. Uh-huh. And, uh. But I saw this one. I thought we haven't got to do anything with that tractor. It sits in the barn about 360 days a year. Yes. I get it out for shows yeah, and, and plow the garden and stuff like that. Yes. Yes. That's about it. You know? And Aww. so anytime there's something like this, and I have the opportunity, I try to, to uh, go on it. That's great. Well, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, it's already been pretty nice. It's Good. Hey, we have a lovely cloudy cooler day. That is a blessing, 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 isn't it? All right. Well, have fun. Thank you. Can you hear those engines starting up? That means it's time to go. Tractor Cruise 2021 is about to start. One with a cab.
We've got 24 miles to drive together. And that's guys having fun right there. Hi girls! So tell me, tell me again, what happened? Well he's in the shop working on the old Alice Chalmers. And he didn't get it going it for the, the, going the cruise. Oh, do you think we could find him? Yeah, I think so. It's a pretty little tractor. And this is your... This would be my kids' great-grandpa's tractor. That was actually his dad's tractor. So this tractor belonged to their great-great-grandpa. Wow. Great-great-grandpa? Your great-great-grandpa's tractor is in the shop. And I think one of the neatest parts about this tractor cruise is... The history behind these tractors usually goes back to the person's family. Yeah. My husband's family, they have kept everybody's first tractor that they've purchased. So they now have his, my husband's great grandpa's tractor. Uh huh. And they have, they have his grandpa's first tractor and they have his dad's first tractor on this farm. Oh, that's so awesome. They're very excited about that. Oh, yes very excited about that yes. and it is a big deal for them to pack up their tractor and move it somewhere right, absolutely. to be in this tractor cru cruise isn't it absolutely. let's go see if we can check on progress that'd be a good idea you ain't got your stuff to work with albert you didn't have a tractor to run i ain't got anything to run oh, no wow. <laughs> it's hard keeping these old tractors running isn't it i'd like to get one to run 300 feet <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we're gonna to find out. That's where we got. To go He's to into the pulling tractor. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah, and he wants high horsepower. Oh, where are you going tonight to pull? Oh, gonna do it, huh? Yeah, we got. Well, we're all hey, Watch the door, That's what I'm doing. Here, watch out. Yeah, yeah, get yeah, back here, my mom. Stay back. Come here. Move the baby. Uh, all right, let me get you guys. Gonna, gonna give it a try, huh? I just drove down to see how Carl was doing and, and everything was going smooth. And it's going pretty smooth now, I, isn't it? I just have to get here and ride and get a little help. What was wrong with it? Oh, it's caught in second gear and it's just a little bit of that But now that it's already missed the start, it won't be able to drive, right? Oh, I don't know if he just, is it gone already? Yeah, they have gone. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Hey. I don't know. Looks like our guys are arriving for lunch here at Big Brutus. I think they look pretty happy. What a way to spend their Saturday morning.
Hey, Carolyn, what's for lunch? We have barbecue pork, creamy slaw, chips, ham and beans, drinks, and crab shells. Crab shells. Awesome, you ladies are great. Uh, this time it's apple pie. I like to eat it. My kids don't. Oh, you're good. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I grew up on blackberry cobbler. I remember it. Last time it was <laughs> Thanks for all your hard work, girls. Right in front of Big Brutus is that pit. Deep, deep hole, a deep trench that Brutus dug, mining for coal, and then it just fills up with rainwater. Lots of fishermen and hunters like those pits. Now we're going to turn it around and show you Big Brutus. Yeah, they drove it right out of that pit and parked it there when they decided it was too expensive to run it. Isn't that cool? If you're in our neck of the woods in southeast Kansas, Come see Big Brutus. You will not be disappointed. I'm going to go further up still. Look at that. Wow. And there is the bucket. See those people standing in it? How big the bucket is? I'm going to walk up there and stand in that bucket too. Just to give you an idea how big it is. Great, I'm so glad to see you here. I'm glad you got it going. That is such a pretty, pretty tractor. Did you paint it yourself? No, I didn't. Westerville. Very good. Hey, tell me, does this tractor have significance in your family? Yes, this was my great grandpa's tractor. Oh, that is priceless, isn't it? Yep, and my grandpa is one that got it restored. But he, he's not able to drive it, so we, Aww. we drove it here. And now we're going to line up beside Big Brutus and get our picture taken with all those fabulous tractors. Isn't that big Brutus a big old thing? Man! It makes those tractors look small, doesn't it? Should be about 21 tractors by the time they get them all lined up.
Well, it looks like Tractor Cruise 2021 is in the books. Well done, guys. Well done.